the word is true mm -hmm. i will sing because your word is true and you're faithful yes. and lord god almighty you have lifted your name your word above your name mm -hmm. and we thank you this wonderful evening jehovah god even as we get into the devotion we pray that you minister to us in a special way. Mm -hmm. May we have a special encounter with you. May we have a new encounter with you. May you just touch our hearts, mm -hmm. touch our minds and our souls, Jehovah God Almighty, as we desire to grow deeper and deeper into your word mm -hmm. every single day. We open our hearts towards the reception of your word. And as it comes down, Jehovah God Almighty, as your word says, mm -hmm. it will not go back to you void. May it fulfill the purposes for which it's gonna come down in the name of Jesus we thank you Lord and we bless your name in Jesus mighty name we do pray and believe amen and amen, amen. amen. Uh, we're talking about uh, the promises of God mm -hmm. it is a topic that I had started last week yeah. and um, <clears throat> I was to talk about it the other day this week but uh, by the help of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. we uh, went into something else yeah. but I want to go back to the promises that God has over your finances mm -hmm. and I said that uh, it is important for you to pray the scripture mm. and knowing that whatever you're praying is in the word of god it gives you more confidence mm. that it is indeed written and it is what the lord wants for you therefore we got a number of scriptures that we had uh, read last time mm. i'm just going to mention them to you if you want to uh, get uh, th those scriptures you can go back to our you know devotion that we did last week on our social media platforms you can go to our uh, youtube page or mm. facebook page and you will find them there the financial breakthrough and the scriptures that are there for you to claim and pray the reason why we are uh, teaching this to you is so that you can go before the lord in knowledge mm -hmm. knowing that there are promises that god has put in place in terms of finances because mm -hmm. most of us or some of us are, are troubled in the area of finances mm -hmm. sometimes we don't even know how to pray we've even gotten to a point where we're asking ourselves that god does god really want us to prosper mm -hmm. does god really want you to move from the poverty level that you're in today does god really want you to move from glory to glory and if indeed he does want you to do that then where in the word of god can you find the support in scripture mm -hmm. for you to pray and it is important for you, as Barbara was saying yesterday, pray the scripture, mm. pray the word of God. It brings a lot of energy and oomph to your prayer. Mm -hmm. And therefore, we would we talked about the first scripture, which was Jeremiah 29, 11. And the Bible says, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Mm. I'm not going to talk more about that. Uh, I'm just going to mention the scriptures for you. And then number two, we talked about the book of... Of Psalms chapter 35 verse 27 which says let them shout for joy and be glad who favor my righteousness cause and let them say continually let the Lord be magnified who has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant mm -hmm. that the Lord indeed has pleasure yeah. in the prosperity of his servant it means the opposite is also true that is not happy when the servant is not prosperous so if you are in a position where you're not prosperous mm -hmm. it means the lord is not happy for you being in that situation therefore you gotta take practi practical steps towards attaining your prosperity mm -hmm. which is found in the word of god mm -hmm. and in god himself number three the book of proverbs chapter 10 verse 22 the bible says the blessing of the lord maketh one rich mm -hmm. and he adds no sorrow with it and we say that if you are in a place where you're feeling like it's not you, you're not happy you're not working in liberty mm -hmm. you're not working in confidence knowing that the job you have is giving you joy or it is giving you time to go to the house of god and spend time in the house of god mm -hmm. it means that's not the lord the blessing of god because the blessing of god will make rich and there is no sorrow that comes along with the blessing of god mm -hmm. god wants you to be happy in your marriage god wants you to be happy at your workplace god wants you to be happy when he blesses you with children he wants you to enjoy your life with those children 
and they should not add any sorrow upon you number four the book of proverbs chapter nine verse uh, chapter three verse nine to ten mm-hmm. the bible says honor the lord with your possessions and with the fast fruits of all your increase so your bands will be filled with plenty and your vats will overflow with new wine mm-hmm. this is where you have honored the lord and we said if you have honored the lord you have fulfilled all righteousness you are walking right with god and you feel like things are not okay with you then you have the right to go before the lord and ask the lord what is it that is not right with me mm-hmm. what is it that i have not done that is making me not to achieve the blessing that you have spoken in the book of proverbs chapter 3 verse 9 to 10 that i have done all this what is it that i've not accomplished and you pray according to the word number five the bible says and i said i love this scripture that is from the book of uh, isaiah uh chapter 45 verse 2 to 3 and the bible says that i will go before you and make crooked places straight this is a promise that the lord has given i will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron i will give you the treasures of heaven i mean the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places mm-hmm. that you may know that i the lord who call you by your name am the god of israel mm-hmm. that is isaiah 45 2 to 3. i go to number six the bible says in deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 18 mm-hmm. that as and you shall remember the lord your god for it is he who gives you the power to get well mm. god gives you the power to get wealth mm. so therefore you go before the lord and say god you are able to do this mm. you own the cattle on a thousand hills mm. therefore god almighty why don't you provide for me in this situation mm. you are the one who gives the power to make wealth why don't you give me the the the, the, the wisdom in order for me to articulate in you know the, the things that i really need to articulate from my mind to put mm. them on a, you know in action yeah. all right you go before the lord in scripture you pray the scripture he gives you the power to make wealth that he may establish his covenant mm-hmm. which he saw to your fathers and then i come now to number seven luke chapter 6 verse 38 the bible says give and it will be given to you Amen. And this is what we've been encouraging you, especially here when we're partnering with Pal Radio. Mm. That give and it will be given to you. Mm. This is a promise that God has given. And he continues to quantify this particular scripture. And it's it's not just being given to Mm. you. It is good measure, Mm -hmm. pressed down, shaken together and running over. Mm. This will be put into your bosom for with the same measure that you use it will be measured to you Mm. luke chapter 6 verse 38 give and it shall be given to you good measure press down shaken together running Running over. over have you done that go before the lord go before the lord the bible says try me especially when it comes to the place of tithe and offering Mm. try me test me and see whether i will not open the floodgates of heaven Mm. and pour down a blessing that you may not be able to contain more than you can contain this is a promise that god has given Mm. unto you the bible says in the book of psalm 84 10 to 12. now this is the eighth one as we come to the conclusion of the same the bible says a single day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere i will rather be a gatekeeper in the house of my god mm. than leave the good life in the homes of the wicked uh, for the lord god is our son mm. and our shield he gives us grace and glory the lord will withhold no good thing Mm. listen child of god Mm. the lord will will withhold no good thing from those who do what is right Mm. the lord will not withhold that is why i was i'm asking you are you walking right are you doing that which is right in the house and the, in the eyes of god mm. are you born again have you qualified for these promises 
Are you a child of God? Are you in the kingdom of God? Therefore, you qualify to pray and go before the Lord and claim these promises. That God, you have said, you will not withhold any good thing. Listen, any good thing, including finances, including a good wife, including a good husband, including a child, the Lord shall not withhold any good thing from those who walk right number nine the book of second corinthians chapter 9 verse 68 remember this a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop but the one who plants generously Mm. will get a generous crop i love this scripture the one who plants generously will get a generous crop Mm -hmm. some of us are used to planting in small areas this is the only place i can plant Mm -hmm. oh mimi kazi yangu ni kupatena tu maskini oh mimi yangu ni kanisani tu pekeke pal radio partnership ah ah chana na mimi mimi wacha tu nikuja nisikiza jokes na nini evangelism Mm -hmm. pelekea wale mbao wajokoka me i want i just want entertainment and empowerment Mm -hmm. i don't want evangelism i don't want to partner with you guys yes you bless me (laughs) yes you guys bless me but uh, partnership kidogo Mm -hmm. mimi tuko na contract na mchungaji wangu kanisani (laughs) you're this part you're planting only a few seeds mm. and that means you will only get a small crop but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop therefore you must each decide in your heart how much to give all right and don't give reluctantly or in response to pressure for god loves a cheerful giver and god will generously provide all you need then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others this is a whole sermon in itself that the lord loves a cheerful giver god will generously bless you Mm. he will generously provide Mm. because you are planting generously because you're planting everywhere therefore when it comes to your point of reaping the lord will indeed multiply generously how you are planting therefore if you've done this you go before the lord pray in confidence lakini kama wewe ni mkono birika you cannot pray this prayer you cannot pray under what grounds you have no legal grounds to pray such a prayer because you are not a cheerful giver therefore if you've done what is required you go before the lord cheerfully with confidence quote the scripture confidently and remind the lord and claim the blessing mm. that is in the book of second corinthians chapter 9 verse 6 to 8 and finally number 10 mm-hmm. The book of Philippians chapter 4 verse 19. The Bible says, And this time, and this same God who takes care of me will supply all your needs from his glorious riches which has been given to us in Christ Jesus. I love this scripture. This is, I believe this is Paul who was speaking. And most of us Mm. uh, quote this scripture a lot. That Lord, uh, you shall fulfill all my needs according to your riches in glory according to the power that is working within me mm. but when you get the context of this scripture yeah. that the church where paul was serving mm-hmm. they had he had served diligently and the men and mm. women blessed this man of god mm. he had been blessed his heart was happy he was filled with joy he was satisfied after satisfaction he was like ah yeah 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 you want to ah may the lord bless you mm. because of what you have done for me because of what you have done to me and the ministry and the gift that the lord has given me therefore the same god yeah that i serve shall supply all your needs Mm. he shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory if you have not done anything don't 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 preach don't don't preach this scripture uh, upon yourself because you've not qualified the other part of scripture 
so you have to pray with understanding and that is why sometimes you pray before god and bible says you pray you pray you receive not because you're praying amiss mm. so this scripture is very powerful you don't just quote it upon yourself and yet you know behind the scenes you have not i mean you have not achieved the previous things that were happening mm. and you need to put that one in context serve the lord serve the man of god partner with the ministries that god has put in your life partner with the men of god that god has put in your life support the men of god and your spiritual leaders that god has put your place mm. and if you're a part and, and a, a member of pal radio support the ministry that god has put in pal radio mm. in evangelism empowerment and entertainment and therefore when we are praying that the lord shall supply all your needs mm. according to his riches and glory therefore at asisi to kiomba we are not praying amiss mm. indeed we are praying for the lord to fulfill that which you have done god bless you amen 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 wow thank you very much that has been my time mm. so it's good to pray scripture yes. and understand what kind of scripture mm. it is what it is all about and the lord to just come through for you when you pray what you know mm-hmm. when you pray what you understand then it brings a lot of confidence in your prayer amen yeah pearl radio the home of fresh and classic hits